Hey, it's AD Edge here. I'm doing a video on one of my latest projects. Now the goal of this project is to test the boundaries of games in the Blender game engine using Python. This is my first time using Python, so this is an example of how powerful Python is, even for a beginner like me. So this is the start screen for the game. The game's called Grubs, we'll find out why soon. We've got four options, we can go to the open play arena, which is where most of this will take place got level 1 and level 2, which I might get around to making sometime, but haven't yet. And we've got the controls. So we're going to the open play arena now. Okay, so once we enter the game, we find ourselves in a tunnel. We can use the mouse to look around. We can use left click to fire the weapon. Right click to grab things, but that doesn't work at the moment. Uh, we can use W, A, S, and D for the movement, and E to drop eggs, but we'll get to that soon. On the main display, you can see the top left of the screen, we've got how many eggs we've collected. We've got four, we always start off with four. The bottom left, we've got how many eggs there are in the current level, there's none, and how many grubs there are in the current level, and again, there's none. So we can move out of the tunnel into the main arena, and here, there's not much at the moment. But there is the carnival. We just saw him then, the flash of lightning. So he'll be heading our way now. And there he is. Now I'd like to talk about him first for a little while. Because I think his development um, is pretty interesting. And that's basically where the whole game started from. So here's the game in the early stages. This is about a few hours into it and all I was basically focusing on was the scripting so all I needed was a cube basically with legs and he's got a bit of a basic walk cycle here and all I really wanted to do was get a cube that walked around with a bit of AI some pretty basic AI so in the game engine we basically just wanted him to interact with the walls and so here he is now walking around and yeah the main problem with it was whenever he hit a wall he'd just keep walking into it so I made it so whenever he hit a wall he'd turn and walk away from it. And that didn't take too long, it was pretty pretty basic with Python. But using logic bricks that would have taken a lot of time to do. And by this stage I wasn't all that happy with his actual appearance. So once I'd got the scripting out of the way I decided to change his appearance a little bit. You see I've added a texture to him. Just a simple kind of evil face. And I put a bit of colouring on his legs. But still, I wasn't wasn't that impressed. So then I smoothed them out a bit, made them a bit of a sphere, which still wasn't all that happy about. But I added a new feature, and he can see his armature, and that was a mouth, an actual mouth that opened and closed. It wasn't just a texture, and I thought that was that was pretty cool. But again, I upgraded him, some more spikes, and did some more detail on his feet. And here's his armature again, still the same. As you can see, I kept the mouth. I was pretty happy with that. So then, in the actual game engine, I got him to, to run around. He still got his his old cycle walk cycle and I managed to get him to bite so he's biting and I still wasn't happy with his appearance so I did some more work on that and got him to this stage which is the stage that he's currently at and I thought that was a lot better because it's a lot more bulky a lot more detail in the legs and I added some some pincer kind of arms but I thought it looked a bit unbalanced without the arms and he's still got his same walk cycle pretty much just added some animation for the arms. So that's enough about the carnivore creature. In part 2 I'll be talking about the grubs and showing some more of the game and gameplay. So thanks for watching.